And as we stroll our way merrily into 2020, the compact mobile phone is sadly close to extinction. Frankly, you've got more chance of finding a nuclear physicist in Essex than you have of tracking down a sub six inch smartphone. Now, in most handsets these days are big enough to actually club a fully grown bison to death. And of course, we all pinned our hopes on foldable smartphones last year, but have you actually seen and held the Samsung Galaxy Fold? It actually resembles a proper house brick. Stick that thing in your trouser pocket and your pants will probably just end up collapsing around your ankles. But fear ye not, because you can actually buy a small selection of compact phones still in 2020. And here's a look at some of the best ones, plus a look forward at some of the other mini-ish mobiles that we'll hopefully see launch later in 2020. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So let's start off with one of the few dinky Androids that actually launched towards the end of 2019, the Pixel 4, which at 5.7 inches ain't exactly teeny, but it is a hell of a lot smaller than most of its rivals. And it's also dropping quickly in price, despite only being a few months old. And in most respects, it is a great smartphone. That dual lens camera offers seriously good HDR smarts and a next level night mode, plus plenty of other great features. Performance is super smooth no matter what you're up to, while that stock Android UI is as pleasurable as ever. But the Pixel 4 does sadly suffer from one absolutely fatal flaw and that is the god awful battery life. Even if you spring out of bed all merry and happy in the morning with a full charge, chances are by 5pm this thing will be deader than Jeremy Corbyn's career. The only way of guaranteeing you'll make it to bedtime with some juice left in the Pixel 4 is by keeping on turning it off throughout the day. If you want to grab yourself a bit of Google action, you're definitely still best off with the Pixel 3a. This 5.6 inch mini blower will happily survive a full day without demanding a recharge, with the added bonus that it's just 400 quid sim free. Performance is somewhat trimmed back, but still smooth enough for everyday shenanigans. And best of all is that camera tech. You can still capture great looking photos in almost any conditions, just like you can with those flagship handsets. Go check out my big sexy recent Pixel 3a 6 month re-review for all you need to know. Another recently launched smartphone with a 5.6 inch display that you might be tempted by is the Fairphone 3, but the handset itself is far from mini. That chunky frame means it's actually harder to use one-handed than most other Androids. Also, the camera tech is less than stellar as is the performance, considering that 450 euros asking price. So despite being an admirable lesson in sustainable tech, I have to say, leave the Fairphone on the shelf. If you want a more premium compact smartphone, then definitely check out Samsung's Galaxy S10e, which has slightly more trim back specs and therefore a slightly smaller price point compared with a fully fledged S10. The standard S10's in display fingerprint sensor has been replaced with a slightly wonky edge mounted effort, while that telephoto camera lens has also been culled for the S10e. And battery life is also regrettably limited, although not quite as bad as the Pixel 4, thankfully. But despite those flaws, the performance is top draw and the screen is absolutely stunning. So if you're after a mini media machine with strong gear and chops, you can definitely do far worse. And then there's the Palm phone, which is over a year old now, but the most miniature phone of recent times at just 3.3 inches. Here in the UK, it's a Vodafone exclusive, but I'd only recommend grabbing one as a backup phone or similar. For one, the battery life is pretty bloody poor, just like the Pixel 4. Not too shocking as the battery is a weeny 800 milliamp effort. That camera is basic at best and typing on the Palm phone's teeny screen is a lesson in patience. I came close to hurling this thing into space on more than one occasion. If you're not averse to going down the iOS route, then the iPhone 8 is still the smallest, dinkiest iPhone you can buy direct from Apple with its 4.7 inch screen. And even the Plus model ain't that bad at all with a 5.5 inch display. Of course, this pair is definitely getting on a bit. They're over two years old now and they certainly look it. Alternatively, the iPhone XS is just 5.8 inches, so still comes under that six inch barrier and it is a bit more modern looking. Once again, you have an impressively accurate OLED screen plus Apple's powerful A12 chipset as well and a solid dual lens camera with telephoto lens. You can't grab it from Apple any longer but you're sure to find it at resellers if you're interested. And if you're tempted go check out my full one year iPhone XS re-review to see if it's worth buying in 2020. But of course one of the last proper compact Android phones was Sony's Xperia XZ2 Compact which emerged in April 2018. This is the first Xperia compact phone to feature a full HD display and although it's just a 5 incher it's still a great way to take in some Netflix shows on the go. You get full HD or support, while Sony's X-Reality smarts make standard deaf footage look all sharp and spangly. And all of this awesomeness is crammed inside a funky looking black or silver chassis that's fully IP68 water and dust resistant. The great news is that Snapdragon 845 chipset still provides nice smooth performance here on the Xperia XZ2 Compact. It'll do absolutely everything you want it to and plenty more besides. And it's still been well supported by Sony as well, plenty of updates and it's due to get the Android 10 update any day now. Of course, the current trend of growing smartphones is unlikely to buckle anytime soon, but one potential new bit of tech that could help out is that foldable display action. 
The Samsung Galaxy Fold is clearly a massive flipping tablet thing and so basically does not count, but Motorola has absolutely nailed this technology with its brilliant reimagined version of the classic Razer handset. This mini mobile is incredibly slim and compact when folded up, with a dinky 2.7 inch OLED screen on the outside for checking notifications and the like. Flip it open and you'll reveal a stunning 6.2 inch display that's free from creases or bumps, so you don't need to compromise when it comes to gaming or watching movies. It's seriously smart tech and I'm really hoping to see a lot more like it this year, especially as this all new Razer is rather limited when it comes to the performance and the camera chops. Samsung is already rumoured to be ready in a new Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 which will basically copy the Motorola Razer design for a much more compact finish and here's hoping that other manufacturers follow suit in 2020. And of course Google should also be launching the new Pixel 4a smartphone at its big IO developer conference which is due to kick off around the start of May. So far there actually haven't been any serious leaks or rumours or such forth around the Pixel 4a but I'm kind of hoping that Google once again takes that flagship camera tech and compresses it into a nice mid-range smartphone which is still nice and dinky as well. Premium features from the Pixel 4 like the Sonos support and the 90Hz display will almost certainly be cold and a less powerful chipset plugged in as well but you should still get those nifty Android 10 features like the dark mode and here's hoping that those battery life wars are little more than a distant horrible memory. And of course fans of those Sony Xperia compact smartphones were more than a little distraught, myself included, at the complete lack of new mini mobile action from the Japanese giant in 2019 but fresh new web rumours do point to a new Xperia compact emerging later in 2020. So so far those web whisperings point to a 5.5 inch device using the same super stretched 21 by 9 aspect ratio as last year's Xperia's. Apparently it may be a mid-range mobile similar to the Xperia 10 pack and a Snapdragon 600 series platform. Here's hoping it appears at MWC 2020. And Apple may have finally heard our pleas for a more affordable iPhone as well so our fingers crossed that a new iPhone SE 2 also emerges this year. With any luck it'll be a sub 5 inch handset using that A13 platform with an asking price that won't have you selling your newborn or remortgaging your whole bloody house. And that right there is a run through of the best mini mobiles you can buy right now in 2020 and I look forward to some of the ones that will hopefully be emerging later this year. As you can see it is pretty slim pickings unfortunately unless you're willing to go back a couple of years to the likes of the Sony Xperia XZ2 Compact you generally have to compromise with something rather like the Pixel 4's poor battery life. But here's hoping the likes of those foldable phones and the Pixel 4a will sort all that out right away. So let's know what you think in the comments down below. Please poke subscribe, ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a bloody fine week people. Cheers everyone. Love you.